That's Bruce Hornsby. It's just the way it is. I'm, I'm always challenging myself as a musician to go further, to, to learn more, to get better, to, you know, here's the interesting thing, really. I could have stopped when I was 25 years old. Knowing what I knew at the time, you know, I, I played pretty well. I made money playing in bands. In fact, that's how I paid my way through college, with that money. And with that set of musical chops, really, frankly, I could have floated along for decades just playing in wedding bands. But I, I, to me, that was boring. I didn't want to just stop at Louie Louie and give me some of lovin'. I wanted to play Steely Dan, blues, jazz, Bruce Hornsby, right? Um, and I really, what I wanted to do is I wanted to improv. I wanted to, you know, I had to learn my scales, right? <laughs> And, um, and I wanted to be able to sit in with anybody or I wanted to be able to hear a song on the radio and just be able to play it like that uh, by recognizing chord patterns and then <clears throat> sit down and improvise that song. And with that, I was able to uh, sit in with bands, uh, pro bands, and even be asked to uh, uh, play piano with pro players as they came to town. So, you know, I worked at it every single day. I stuck with it because I had the passion to go further than Louie Louie, <laughs> right? Um, and fr frankly, I get a kick out of people who come to me and say, hey, Jimmy, I want to learn to play piano like that. And of course, the optimist in me says, well, go for it. You can do it. <laughs> Here's what you need to do. But in my heart, I know that they most likely aren't going to do it. Uh, because, uh, well, unless they get a real passionate desire for it, right? Um, if it just happens to be this pleasant little thought or wish, uh, it's not going to happen, right? And frankly, this is just like losing weight. It's like working out, gaining muscle mass. It's like uh, anything, really, <laughs> making money. Uh, so, you know, we don't do it unless there's a real powerful driving passion for it. And frankly, business folks are the exact same way when it comes to improving their stores, especially when it comes to training their teams. I get this a lot. Often they want a quick fix. They want the one-time visit or the, um, the great book on sales or the great class. And uh, I think back to my friend Brad Huskin, who always says regarding training, he says, sales training doesn't work if it's an event. You know, it only works if it's an ongoing effort to get better. Ongoing. It has to be ongoing. And this is why we often see numbers jump up temporarily after a seminar or purchasing some new line of jewelry, for example, or even new software, some gadget, right? We throw money at it with a, and I call that the pill of, <laughs> of, of our business, right? Um, and this, this little jump up may even happen even after, after some sales training. But then after a few months, uh, you know, after all your customers have seen the new line, right, um, the, the sales, they tend to fall back down. It's, and this is why we have church every week, right? It's why we brush our teeth every day. It's why we have store meetings every week. We need to start and never stop. Because as soon as you stop, right? As soon as I sit back and watch The Big Bang Theory instead of sitting here learning my blues scales, okay, um, everything's just gonna kind of fall back to normal, right? Or fall back to the way it was. It's kind of like paddling a canoe upstream. As soon as you stop paddling, which way are you headed? <laughs> Backwards. <laughs> so for me, once I understood the mechanics of sales and selling, okay, then I began to research the psychology of sales. That led to understanding better how my people work, right? Psychology. 
and what motivates them as individuals. That helped me be a better manager. Okay, uh, and 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 help. Frankly, it helps me be a lot better sales trainer as well. And right now, I happen to be studying quantum physics and how we have the ability to create our world through quantum entanglement, or what Einstein called it, uh, spooky action at a distance. <laughs> and all this started because when I was 22 years old, I picked up How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. So I started and I never stopped. I started learning this thing and I never stopped. I still do it today in my mid 50s. I'm still learning new things. Uh, something I re recently learned that took a little bit was this uh, Minute by Minute by Michael McDonald and the Doobie Brothers. It's kind of a almost like an exercise. It's a <laughs> You recognize it. I, I'm getting it. <laughs> but that took practice, and I still practice today. I still buy new things. I look at it, and uh, I train. I train myself, okay? Always be growing every day, every week, regularly, okay? Uh, and I'm just telling you, you need to... Consider, especially training your team, consider it an ongoing thing. You start it and you never stop because as soon as you do stop, just like the stream, you're going to start heading backwards.